Hey, how you doing? My name is Kevin Collick, and I am a success coach with Trio Talent Search here at Cleveland Community College, where we serve Cleveland County Schools. And I wanted to take some time to answer one of our frequently asked questions by our seniors. So that question is, my Trio coach said, I'm going to have to be dealing with a lot of portals when applying to college. What does that mean? mean okay so basically a portal is a name that the universities use to let you know there's a way that you're going to have to access the website to get the information that you need they set the information up inside of these portals so that you can easily get the information that you need to make your process easier supposedly right so and just a little note for you guys these portals are called totally different things at some schools and there's a different number of portals for any school that you may apply to some schools might have two or three and they'll be called totally different things okay so don't get don't get caught up on what we're calling them in this video okay so let's jump in a little bit now the first portal that you'll probably have to deal with is an admissions portal. Now with that admissions portal, the way that works is you'll apply to the school, finish up your application. They'll typically send you an email and it'll have an email and a link set up where it'll say, hey, what we want you to do is set up your temporary admissions portal. And when you set that up, you'll have a username and a password that you use to set it up. And now you can access your completed application. You can pay an application fee through there. Um, they'll send you messages about what you need to complete or get done for the application. Sometimes there'll even be information about your financial aid status. And if you need to submit any additional information or where you're at in the process of getting your financial aid stuff completed. So that's very important in making sure you get accepted to the school because they're going to need all that information together before they can consider your application. Okay. Now, the next portal you'll be having to deal with is usually is what's called an enrollment portal. So with the enrollment portal, that's really important because now you've been accepted to the school and now they'll give you this enrollment portal. You'll be able to access it. You'll create a new username and password usually. And what will happen is you'll be able to go into this en enrollment portal. You'll be able to look at your uh, financial aid award and look at all the bottom line costs for what it's going to cost you to go to school there. You'll be able to look at how all your scholarships are being applied to your account. Okay. Um, you'll be able to apply for housing, choose housing. You'll be able to choose a meal plan through this portal. You'll be able to uh, submit for your new student orientation and set that up. Right. So this is important because now this gets the ball rolling. Right. Um, all the way to the end to where you show up at the school, right? You can uh, pay your enrollment fee in there. So this is all very, very important stuff. You need to make sure you're accessing these portals. If you have any, any questions about it, please let us know. Thank you.